How to depixelate and de-blur face photos with AI for free. On my desktop, I have an image called social media face photo. Let's pretend in this video demonstration that this image is a face photo of me. So I'm just going to double click on it now so you can see what it looks like. In this video example, this image was used as a social media profile picture. Because the original image was deleted, the only one available for me to download and save locally is the one uploaded to social media. So once you download the image, you'll often notice that the image is very small, not only only a small file size, but also a very low resolution. And when you try to resize that image, you'll often find that it is very pixelated blurry and distorted. As you can see in this face photo, that is exactly the case. The pixelation is very bad. It's quite blurry and needs to be sharpened up. And there's some distortion here on the cheek, a kind of reddish distorted pixelation. We're going to be restoring this image using artificial intelligence. To do this, the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, restorephotos.io. Once you're here, you'll be on the following page. What this site does is restore your old photos using AI. So if you have old and blurry photos, the AI will restore them. So you can see an example here of an original photo. As you can see, it's quite blurry. And if you look to the right hand side, you can see the restored photo using this AI tool. And as you can see, the face of this man is much more clear, sharp, and not as pixelated. But if you notice around the edges of the image, if you exclude his face, you can see there's still some pixelation on this other person's head here at the bottom left. So it's blurry and a bit pixelated. This occurs also on his t-shirt where there's some additional smoothing going on too by the AI. So keep in mind that the restoration results are mainly targeted for face photos. To use this tool, all you need to do is to click on the button that says restore your photos. Once you've done that, you'll need to upload your face photo using the upload an image button here, or you can drag and drop an image. I'm going to click on the button, upload an image. A small window will open where you'll need to find the location of the image that you'd like to restore. My image is on my desktop, so I'm simply going to click on desktop, and then I'm going to scroll down and look for my image. And there we go, here's my image. It's called social media face photo. All I'm going to do is left click on it to select it, and then left click on open. Once done, the image will then be uploaded to the restorephotos.io website and it will be restored with the site's AI. As you can see, the restoration on a single image is very quick. If we look on the left hand side, you can see the original photo that we uploaded to restorephotos.io and on the right hand side, we can see the restored photograph. The face is much, much sharper. The blurriness and pixelation is gone and the pixelated distortion here that was reddish has now been smoothed out and is not noticeable anymore. The hair is clearer but has a lot of jagged edges if you look quite closely at it, you can see it's not as sharp as the face or clear. And this is one of the limitations of this site. The edges and the non-face elements of the image will not be as sharp and will still be slightly blurry, clearer but slightly blurry and have jagged edges. Now if you wanted to see the restored photo you can simply click on it. I'm not going to do that as I want to download the restored photo so all I'm going to do is click on the download restored photo button here. Once done the restored photo will then download. I'm using Google Chrome so as you can see if we look to the bottom left hand side here the download has finished and all I'm going to do is click on this arrow next to it and then click on open to view it using my PC's photo app and then I'm just going to maximize the image here. And now we can get a better look at the image. For what we started with, this is a very big improvement over the original image, bar the hair and maybe the eye is slightly distorted as well. My face photo that I used for this video demonstration was much more distorted than the sample photo on the restorephotos.io site and maybe more extreme than the photo that you're going to be restoring. On that note, that pretty much concludes the video on how to depixelate and de-blur face photos with AI for free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so